I'm Sean White. I'm a professional snowboarder, skateboarder, and uh, I play guitar in a band now. I started skiing when I was probably three or four, just as something to do. I mean, my parents would go on like weekend trips up to Big Bear at Snow Summit. I think probably by the time I was five, my older brother started snowboarding and I had to do everything he was doing, you know, older brother deal. Yeah, he's seven years older than me and he, um, Jesse is his name. So he was always the one that I was looking to that had the next thing that was cool in my eyes. He's an amazing artist, so he would sit with me and we would design all the product lines that I make together. Uh, not only on the look and feel of the Enduro, but um, you know the ideas for the ad campaigns and all the different things. Um, huge hand in all of those. But I've never really been into sports, so I'd always just kind of like do my thing. I've been more interested in music and, and you know different art artists, and I don't know. It's kind of like. Ever since I was a kid, my life has been, you know, going to school and doing uh, specific things, and then I would go and become this other person at the mountain, and I'd always go home and become that kid again. Uh, and so now that I'm older, I kind of follow the same deal. Like, I, I compete, I have friends in the mountains, I do my thing, but then I leave and I go home, and I kind of, like, have my old other life there. Um, so I think some of the guys didn't understand that at first. It's funny, I mean, the sport was kind of built off this, like, you know, I don't know if you, if you could, you could probably pull up all the old snowboarding contests and loop together a pretty funny video of everyone saying the same exact answer of, I'm just super excited to be here and the weather's nice and I'm with all my buddies, so it's a great day. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care who wins, I'm just stoked to be here. And it was just a funny thing, because I even said it, because it was more of like, a, you get to the bottom of the half pipe with your run, and I didn't know what to say. And I felt super uncomfortable in front of the camera, so I would just like, that was my safe, like, I can just say this and leave. As the years went on, I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, I want to win today. I, I'm very apparent about, apparent about what I wanted to do. and. And it found it, I found it strange that a lot of the guys kept saying that same thing. I actually want to compete now more than ever because it's like you get a pretty crummy year like the Olympic season for me where I didn't get what I wanted at the Olympics and it was kind of a letdown, but it's like the best and worst thing to happen. You gotta imagine after the last Olympics, it was just like a crazy, crazy time for me. You know, just growing up the age, gap of being like 19 and winning a medal at the Olympics, those next couple years were pretty confusing. Um, and then I thought winning another medal would solve everything and it didn't. All the same issues were there. Um, There's good times, don't get me wrong. I mean, it was fun in between it, but it's not like everything was like super uh, hunky-dory. Going to this Olympics, actually having my like, shit together so to say i mean i was i knew what i wanted i knew what i was wanting to do after the olympics and all these things and uh and i didn't win and it's funny that this time around i'm happier than <laughs> when i didn't win than when i did win this is probably the happiest i've been in my life